So, so far we've talked about the causes of mental health, uh, we've had a look at social media and how that plays a big role in uh, the mental health uh, of young people and the guys that are on social media. Uh, so now it's only right and it's, I think it's, it's a natural progression that we talk about the, the resolutions and how we think we can further the discussion on mental health, how we think we can uh, help people to well, reach out and get help. Um, so without further ado, let's Let's jump straight in. Let's jump straight in. You boys cool? Yeah, man, I'm good. Man, I'm good. I'm nice good. one. Nice one. Okay, so my, my, my first question, it's a big one, and I feel like we'll, we'll just we'll see where this one takes us and we'll, we'll just go from there. So, first question is, how do you guys think that we, from here, further the campaign for more discussion about mental health? What What is the next step? What, what can we do as, as, as a people? Um, I think the next step is probably taking it from where it is now which is a discussion to more than a discussion because there's only so much discussion you can have do you know what I mean um, I think I probably said it um, earlier as well it's how we're going to turn discussion into action and action into change do you know what I mean so it's this case of alright cool yeah we're having all these discussions but what are we going to take from the discussions and how are we going to then use what we've taken from the discussions to move forward and actually help change people's lives sure do you know what I mean so yeah man I think that's that's the way forward anyway because like I said there's a lot of discussion mm. but not enough provision not enough action I suppose and obviously I don't feel like I've got all the answers but I feel like that is the next step do you think that um, turning things from discussion to action is something that we have to do as young people that live in this kind of reality or do you think that's something that should be given to us from like the top down and I'm coming to you already keep, yeah, no worries. keep on this yeah. I, see, I don't see any reason why I can't be both do you know what I mean at this end of the day you need to help yourself you can't see the right way for someone else to help you that's that's like regards to anything sure. anything in life do you know what I mean so if you want to see a change you start with the person who you you wake up and look at in the mirror and, and start with the people around you so it's something we do need to start ourselves and then when we kind of when you say top down people who are at the top then see that we're we're pushing to do this thing ourselves then we can we have together we have like a um, a, a, a gap of power to be able to cause them and uh, kind of um, um, get the change that we want or get the help that we want from the top down but it definitely needs to start from ourselves nice one nice one oh talk to me go on um well myself um i feel like the third part like like discussions like this that we're doing as, 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 well, as of now I feel like recommendations work really well so for like for me um, personally like I've told everyone about this like literally what we're doing here now so I'm just like yo like I've never done this before like I feel like like you need to speak as well like because obviously you always told me that you've got a lot of problems going on but you don't even speak to me about them so like there's people out there that will genuinely listen to you and have answers and also focus groups mm. like focus groups like I've been to one before in the past but I've just only from just like doing this I've remembered doing it and then I remember everyone else just speaking about the problem just all around in like the circle no one knew each other everyone was just literally just speaking and saying what's going on at the moment and it'll be like it'll be good because obviously you just said about um, the powers from above powers to below I don't really but I'm not a person that believes in that because I'm always about like whatever age you are you can still pass on knowledge to anyone it doesn't matter whatever information you've gathered but it would be good if you could actually put someone that you consider above that does like a lot of work with mental, like with mental health into a focus group of like oh this is the way we want that like, we want to be treated or, or everyone can say like themselves like this is how i want to be treated this is how i want to be helped and sure. stuff like that or, or if we're speaking for someone else like i feel like they should be helped in this way um that'd be that'd be that kind of like that we are doing instead of just talking that, that's that's another step, a milestone that we'll be doing. Um, yeah, man, it's a little a little milestone, but it still goes a bit along. Hundred percent, hundred percent. Well, <clears throat> let me let me let me throw this into the mix then, because maybe when I maybe when I said top down, maybe I was a bit too vague. Uh, there's a there's an argument that floats around and it's constantly floating around that uh, our government and the people that we elect to to run the country on a day to day basis are the ones that maybe should be putting in more provisions to help with uh, this what seems to be a growing problem about mental health and if we're making it more specific mental health within uh, the black community young black men do you think that 
when I say top, I'm talking about government, even though the government is doing enough outwardly to really tackle this problem. And I, I understand that you probably haven't gone and done research and sort of got specifics yeah. and know exactly what the government's doing. And, but when you, when you, like as you say, when you sort of are talking to friends and you have friends that you know have problems or you think there should really be a place for you to talk and an outlet for you to go to, do you think that the government is someone that should be giving us that type of stuff? Or do you think like uh, maybe a focus group that you set up or that uh, someone from our community sets up, that's the that's the best way to tackle and that's, that's the best way to go? Um, I feel like they should be doing it already. Mm. Like, that like hand started should be doing it already. Like, we shouldn't have... It's not like they haven't tried enough ways, like, with youth groups, like, with, like, social clubs and stuff yeah. like that. But, like, it, as it's growing, like, like, furiously at the moment, like, it's not something... Yeah, exactly. Everyone's talking about it now. So if everyone's talking about something, wouldn't you feel like, yo, that's, there's something going on with it? Mm-hmm. Probably, like, we need to, like put some more focus into that and how can we like like with the government you and your when you're elected MP or elected um, governor of your area or whatever like you're supposed to be for the people like that's what people see you as like when they come to you with their problems and you figure out a resolution even if because not one person can sort one problem out mm. so you do as a group so you go to them your problem you figure out how can we instead of how can I it's just how can we mm. a lot of people are self-centered so it's a lot of the I business and how they got to do it so it kind of like like diffuses the the fact of like your help and the people that are around you, like so. Um, boy, I don't know. Like with um, like with, with I said about the focus groups, um, like with MPs as well, that would work like excellent. <coughs> like if they work like in close contact with people that actually work in the mental health in the area. Mm-hmm. So they can actually see what's going on because a lot of them probably don't even see what's going on. They might might go for a visit, like how they you know they're supposed to visit these areas, but they might go for a visit, but they're not really taking in what's actually happening at that time. They're just going for a visit, seeing oh, how this is this and that. But that's like one day. If they spend like a week there, guaranteed to be like, yo, like, yeah, this is serious. Wrong, yeah. like, there's some serious stuff going on over here. That's like that like me put. I could put an MP right now, like in an area which is completely messed up. Yeah, like going through there on a normal day you might not see something but the next day you would mm. but you wouldn't see it if you only see it on a day so it's all about actually staying in there spending some actual solid time to see what's going on and then yeah it's, it's like your content and your information that you take in you can work with but yeah you man if you I mean I think um, the best people to deal with the situation are the people who understand kind of the environment mm. um, obviously like you asked the question should government um, have a responsibility in it um, to a certain extent they do because essentially they are there to represent us they are there to kind of cater to the needs of the people which as a democracy um, MPs are meant to redress their constituencies grievances etc etc but at the same time I feel like we live in um, live in a country where the people who are at the top do not represent us I feel like they represent us because they don't live the life we live in or come from the environments that we come from, do you know what I mean? So there's only a certain amount that I can see them doing for us. Obviously for the general population they do like I've seen this initiative where people are now wearing badges, please offer me a seat. So it's not just for pregnant women, it's for like or, or, or the elderly, it's for like people who may have you know, claustrophobia or may have certain sort of social anxiety. So they have like black badges, but that isn't that isn't kind of uh, relative to someone from a certain socio-economic background, it's not relative to a certain demographic, which is more general. So they can put in provisions like that, but I feel like for the more nitty-gritty and the, the intricacies of, of, of the reason why a young black boy that looks like me is going through mental health issues, that stuff needs to be dealt with um, in their community. And, and, and at the same time, there needs to then be a link between the local community and like you said, the top it needs to be a bit of community. There needs to be communication there, mm. so they understand each other and know that they're working together for the better good of, 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 of us young black men, women, etc. You know I mean? So um, yeah, man, it definitely needs to be a layered effort. I don't think the responsibility lies with one or the other. I think it's um, coming together. You know what I mean, it's a case of people who have X power doing what they can do with their power. People who have Y power doing what they can do with their power, and just kind of staying in communication and making sure that we have a very comprehensive um, kind of solution or a comprehensive structure in place which is helping people out you know what I mean so yeah I think that will definitely go a long way just as long as everyone's making sure that they do their role no matter how big or small you think you are so, I think it's, 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 it's yeah mm. 
Um, yeah, I agree. The math does say it. The math does. And I think that's, that's an interesting point, the resolution <clears throat> that you've come up with there. And it's like, not that you've come up with one that probably has existed and should already be in place. That communication of government listening to, or to watching, seeing, observing what's going on in the community. Um, but, like, um, sorry to cut you off. Please go ahead. There, but, like, I think even further from that, there's one thing providing provisions and solutions. But, sure. like, if I don't know they're happening, how are they going to help me? Yeah, that's, that's true. I mean, like, I think they, they, they can put in the provisions and the solutions, but then no they one, need yeah. to be, they need to be, they need to be kind of, um, um, what's it called? Spread to the audience well enough that they, 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 they need to actually be in people's faces. People need to know that they have these things available to them. Mm. Do you know what I mean? A lot of things that a lot of my local community hope for, like, I don't really know because I'm not going out of my way to go and see it. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I don't feel like, um, at the same time, obviously, it should be people's responsibility to go out and see what, what's available to them. But for something as, um, something as deep as mental health sure. and the issues around it, it needs to be more visible. Mm. Do you know what I mean? So, um, yeah, man, like I said, it's a very layered effort. There needs to be so many things going on mm. for us to see the change that we want to see. It can't just be, it can't be um, a bit of effort here and not enough here. Everything needs to be um, working, yeah. working in tandem for, for things to go well. Yeah, 100%. Okay, well, then let, let me, let me uh, <clears throat> ask you another question, a different question. So, both of you. So, in in my head and I don't know if this is a, a, a good thing to do but I've sort of have split you have mental health and what's really going on inside your brain and, and the things that can affect your mental health and then I, I feel like there's you have the stigma that surrounds mental health and I, I've sort of separated the two in my head I, are you with me? does that make sense are you with me so it's like yeah, the, I think I'm getting you so the, the, the stigma is the feelings that people have towards talking about mental health, the feelings people have towards what's going on inside their brain. Yeah. Mental health is what is actually going on in there. Do you know what I mean? Like I have to yeah, everyone has mental health. Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah. Everyone's got mental health, but there's a certain stigma I think depending on where you're from, who you are, what type of background you come from, uh, that makes you either more likely to talk about it or less likely to talk about it. That's what I've done in my head. I don't know if that yeah. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's just that's just me. So it makes sense for this question because what I want to know is what do you think that uh, as young black men we can do to tackle the stigma surrounding mental health? What can we do to tackle the that shutdown between... Put it in our raps. <laughs> <laughs> no, but like, as, as, much as, as much as I'm joking, I'm being serious. Yeah, being serious. I mean, yeah, that's, at the end of the day, that's what, it's that's an what outlet, people it? listen to. It's an outlet. It's, it's, outlet. it's the way we express ourselves. Just mm. put it in our art. Obviously, myself being a, a, a writer and, not, and an artist, like put it in my art because that's what people are going to listen to that's what people are going to vibes to like with music it's, 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 mad, it's, it's deeper than just what you're hearing it's it, what you're hearing that manifests in your brain and then you, you basically absorb it and it becomes yeah. part of you as a person do you know what I mean so if something as little as putting it in your art regardless of what it is mm. do you know what I mean can, can go a very very long way um, black men in general very expressive like, mm-hmm. like as soon as you give us something to, like as soon as you give us something that like we can put other information into, we can go like we can turn it into something else. Yeah. It's, like it's, it's, it's like with social media, like, mm. like when it, I think I'm not even gonna play with being biased, but I'm not gonna lie. Like black Twitter, black people on Twitter, they make you what it's like. I, I enjoy myself like just following black people too, because they just say some like whatever it is, outrageous stuff. I just find it like I find it amazing, like music wise, like black people give them a bit of content. We can make like this cup sound like something else in words, but this we can we can talk about this cup being us like in half full, like literally mm. stuff like that. Like we, we, <laughs> it's this this it's just, what it's what you do with the outlet, mm. like so. When it's also it helps to um, it's like it also helps like, other people to show what they can do even if it's not music you can be dance you can express through dance mm-hmm. like bring it to the full right on paper or whatever or, like normalize it you need yeah. make you need to have a place where people can actually see like what's going on yeah like, literally that's it that then that brings that brings it back in fact and uh, another question has popped into my head do you think then that if it is about being creative and maybe putting it into into plain sight. So our favourite artists using this subject matter and talking about this subject matter in their in their rhymes or their dance or their acting or whatever it is that, that they do. Do you think then that we should give artists that type of responsibility or that 
that weight on their shoulders maybe to actually come together and, and help to tackle this problem and help to to get rid of this stigma is it is is there some onus on them to to actually start saying you know what we see a problem maybe we've dealt maybe we've had this problem this is what i can do to, to um yes and no <laughs> No, in the sense that I don't have the right to dictate anybody. To That's art. true. That's true. I was going to say that. Talking about. Mm. But yes, in the sense that if you are someone that considers yourself an artist and you feel like there's something you care about, I don't see any reason why you're not putting what you care about into your art. Like it's simple science. Do you know what I mean? Like I don't think there's any artist or any person that's creative out there that doesn't put an element of themselves, of course. what you feel, what they're passionate about into their art. So this stuff happens naturally or should happen naturally. And I don't think it's a thing where we should be putting pressure on anyone. anyone to but do I feel it. like naturally, um, I'd encourage people yeah. to be more comfortable in doing so because then it helps so many other people. Do you know what I mean? Um, at the end of the day, the artists and the creatives, um, quote unquote, are the people who have access to the masses mm. without having to be any sort of political entity or anything. Do you know what I mean? Have sure. access to the masses. I can go on my Twitter and, and upload um, a track now, and I know a certain amount of people are going to listen to it. If they like it, they're going to share it with a certain number of my people in there certain things and certain messages that I've put in there are going to manifest mm. into this pool of people that yeah. I've literally just sent my stuff out to so do you know what I mean so yeah man it's, 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 it's a responsibility and it's not at the same time I think but I feel like it's, it's more it's more power than a responsibility it's yeah. power that people have yeah as people like um not in, like not just artists, but as anyone creative, like your work's always gonna be about yourself first. So if that person generally doesn't care, mm. they're not gonna go out their way to do it. Yeah, like, of course. Then it's not even real. <laughs> like, not real yeah. <laughs> care about mental health or kind of changing um, the stigma or helping people to then start talking about mental me, health because yeah. it's not from a real place. Yeah. And whatever he or she says or does probably won't be as hard hitting because it's not from a real place. Mm. Do you know what I mean? So you can't really force anyone. To so you look up if it, well if I was a, well if I was a, like not artist. But if I was someone that felt like I had some type of power and I do care, I'm, this is like literally what I'm doing this for. Because mm. like I'm telling people like, yeah, like I care about this stuff, so I'm gonna do this. So mm. I'll, I'll look. It's not, it's that kind of looking after your consumer at the same time, as well as them feeding them knowledge. Yeah. And then yeah, like like there's even artists that are still do it now. Like I listen to J Cole. J Cole. J Cole. Like he touches a lot of subjects, touchy yeah. subjects, but it's, yeah, right, he only does it. When Storms he done it. Yeah, it's almost like, oh, like, <laughs> like like it, I thought it was good, I thought it was sick mm. because it's not something anyone even expected. Like, Storms, you think of Storms, big black Ghana man, mm-hmm. yeah, like I mean, you're from a hard background, you know probably. I mean, like, you're thinking from a yeah, hard background, like, 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 one minute he's talking about Mr. Skin, the next minute he's talking about having a breakdown. Like, it's real, mm. it's real. That's what people go through, and people like to look at that and they see a reflection of themselves, and then they feel more comfortable being who they are. Yeah. You know what I mean, if they're more comfortable being who they are, then then they're then they're more comfortable expressing themselves. Yeah. You know what I mean? So just more of that man, more of that, more of that. So it's also see. good like like if where Iman just talked about Storms, you know, that like, like th- that means it worked. Because yes. he's, he's yeah, yeah, <laughs> he yeah, consumed yeah, it, like he can reference like so someone else is gonna hear like, you know what, I didn't even clock Storms he was talking about mental health like that, you know. Mm. Someone else is gonna take it on. Mm. And then Next, that's it's like it's like a it's like a like a virus, like a, but yeah. a good one. Like yeah. Everyone's just talking about something good, but they're not even realizing. So. Yeah, and then like, all that stuff so is just normalizing yep. the conversation and making it something which, like I said, is at the forefront and it's like we can okay talk to talk about. Mm. Yeah, I mean, I think that's the first thing that we really need to do: make it okay to speak about it, and then look to see what actions there are and kind of how exactly we can then um, make the change mm. if possible. Yeah. Okay, I like that. I like that. The idea of normalization first, making it, uh, making, establishing it as a as a conversation and as a discussion that that can be had, and one that you shouldn't have to shy away from or, uh, you know, what I mean, uh, not not express to your fullest about what's going on inside your head. Normalizing it and then saying, okay, now that we're actually talking about it, look at look at what X Y Z there is that you can do or you can go to or you can sign up to to, to really get yourself some help. Yeah, man. Thank you.